Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, let me show you how to free up some space on your iPhone iCloud account without PC. So you can do this on any iPhone, iPhone 12, 11, 13, 8, any iPhone guys. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to be using the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but on any iPhone you can do this. So what you're going to do, let's open the settings. Then let's go ahead and tap on your iCloud account. Now let's go ahead and click on iCloud. Perfect. As you can see, I have a lot of space on my iCloud account, but that's because I bought a lot of space from Apple. Okay. I'm paying like $10 a month for two terabyte. So that's good. So, but even though you have a lot of space on your iCloud account, you have to make sure on this page to turn off some apps that you don't use on your iPhone. Like for example, look, I have, right now I have all my iPhone apps right here. So all these apps are saving their data on my iCloud account. You know what I mean? So you have to make sure to turn off most of the app. Like for example, let me just turn off all these app. Uh, they were off. So I turn it back on to show you, okay, what you need to do. So the only app right here that I just need to save the data on, you know, do the backup on my iCloud account is just this one, obviously photos. So let me see contacts, uh, calendar, uh, note and messages. I don't want Safari to be saving data on my iCloud account. So news, I turn off the setting, almost all the setting right here. So I just leave like five apps. I only allow like five apps to save the data on my iCloud account. And now guys, after you turn off some apps on this page, I promise you that now your iCloud account don't gonna get too full like really fast just like that so that's because it makes sense though now let me show you what else you need to do to free up some space on your iCloud so let's go ahead and open uh, this app files that's an app that all iPhone have okay just open that app then let's go ahead and tap on browse right here this folder all right now let's go ahead and tap on browse one more time Okay, now let's go ahead and tap on locations. All right, right now we have the iCloud Drive, sorry, the iCloud Drive and also on my iPhone. So everything that is on your iCloud Drive is on your iCloud account, okay? Everything that is on my phone is on your iPhone internal storage. So let's go ahead and tap on iCloud Drive right here. And now guys, this is important, look. If you see right here a lot of uh, folder that you don't need on your iPhone, delete them, guys. Delete them all. Just by pressing any folder until you see this menu, it's gonna pop up on your iPhone screen, and then you will see the action to delete. So that also will free up space on your iCloud account, and that's because right now those folders are on my iCloud account. So just make sure, that, you know, by deleting those folders, that's because sometimes your iPhone save all the downloads and all that on, you know, on the iCloud drive and you have to do that to free up space. Now guys, let's jump to the next step. Let me show you now what you need to do. Let's go ahead and open the messages app. Uh, messages right here. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, now let's go ahead and tap on filters. So if you don't see that setting on your iPhone, let me show you how to enable it. Okay, what you gotta do, Let's go ahead and open the settings, scroll down. Let's go ahead and tap on your messages app, open it. Now scroll the way down until you see uh, this setting, filter on no sender. So turn on that setting. Now you're going to be able to see this setting. Let's go ahead and tap on that. Now let's go ahead and tap on, on no senders. So in what you got to do guys, you have to delete all those messages. That's because I don't know if you saw this on your iCloud account iCloud show you right now messages so that setting is on so all those sender you know all those files that those people send you all those files are on your iCloud account right now and that's because your iCloud account is saving all the data so that app is allowed to save all the data on your iCloud account so that's why you need to make sure to delete some messages because that use a lot of space on your iCloud account just delete them all if you don't need them guys delete them up so you will see that also will help you a lot so let's jump to the next step let's go ahead and open the settings scroll down let's go ahead and tap on safari the browser now scroll down and then let's go ahead and tap on clear history and website data just make sure to delete 
all that clear the cache and clear all that now guys the last thing you have to do let's open the mail app your iphone then let's go ahead and tap on edit so select all the email that you don't need and delete them all that also will help a lot because your iCloud account sync all the email, you know, your iCloud account save all the data from your email and that also use a lot of space on your iCloud account. So just do that and you will see guys. And that's all you need to do. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video, guys.